is James Ingle from Get Your Rock Out and um, you're Paul from Chimps Banner. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah you've been around here the whole weekend. like Since and, Thursday. Yeah, since Thursday. Obviously, you opened in the festival headlining. Um, how did you find the set? Uh, really good. Really, really good. I was just saying uh, earlier, like considering that we haven't really been playing very many shows lately, you know, we didn't get a chance to rehearse or anything. Yeah. But I think the songs are kind of so ingrained now that we, you know, can't kind of do it in our sleep. Sort of yeah. Thing. But uh, no, it was really good. Uh, cool crowds. You know, it was nice, nicely packed out. Yeah. Just yeah, nothing to complain about for once. Yeah. Get the, got the party started. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the old band's like become like the house band of Tech Fest. You've played like every year. Yeah, like, yeah, we have. How have you? Um, how have, like you've obviously you've watched it grow and grow. Like, how does it compare to like this year compared to the previous years? Yeah, it's just um, obviously it's bigger. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think the venue this year was a really good choice. Um, just in terms of like facilities and sort of how well run it is, you know, there's stewards everywhere and stuff. You yeah. feel like there's someone in control of it yeah. rather than a sort of semi fan fan run event. Yeah. You know? um, but yeah, no, it's, it's been it's been very good. Pretty yeah, I heard last year was in like some random place in Peterborough. Yeah, it was basically it was a pub, but they yeah. have they have like an events field at the back that they yeah. use for different for different things. But I think there were like there were a few noise issues and the owner kind of kept walking around with a you know decibel meter on his phone which oh. is that's scientific yeah that, that works um, like. so yeah there's, it's nice to kind of be unrestricted this year and yeah. obviously there's no noise limitations and stuff like that um, yeah so it's been really good yeah um, how important like how important do you think this festival is for the whole tech map scene in the UK especially yeah I think it's good man it's like I mean sort of looking at the, the sort of scale of it and everything this year you know it's Kind of not really far off being a, Euro a Euroblast style event, yeah. Just for people in England, you know. Yeah. And we've got people who have come here from the continent, a few people from the states. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's nice. I think it's cool for us to have something like an alternative to that in our own backyard. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I would say it's very important. So. Yeah, like yeah, it's just like some of the bands, some of the bands playing this weekend, not in this whole tech metal scene. Like, yeah, yeah. And I think speaking, that's good though. Yeah. It's just you know because it keeps it a bit fresh for people. You, yeah. There's only so much tech. You Take yeah, before it all starts blurring into one <laughs> Just strange one. song. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you think of the lineup as well this year? Yeah, it's been really, really good. I mean, I, I haven't had much of a chance to see too many bands. Yeah. Um, mainly on account of being tired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an old man. Yeah, you know, I love my bed. Uh, but the stuff that I have seen is, is, you know, it's been a nice range of stuff. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's been good. And uh, what are, you got much plan for us here, like? Again, I mean, it's it's just writing yeah. still. It's taken a long time. Yeah. Um, but the, you know, the thing is, it's like it's a weird one because I'm I'm shying away from doing live stuff on the basis that I want more time to write. Yeah. But it's not until I come to these sort of things that I get more inspired to write because then I start thinking, okay, I, I know I know what I want to sort of give to people next time. And, yeah. Um, so yeah, really, I, you know, the the rest of this year is just going to be working and writing. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of it started to pick up in the last sort of couple of couple of three months. Yeah. Um, you know, sort of hit that dry patch, a two year dry patch. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, it's good being able to talk to other people in, in the scene as well. To yeah. Know that I'm not the only one that's going through that. Yeah. Because um, sometimes you know you get this impression that people just have that creativity on tap, um, and I, I don't. <laughs> yeah. This, in my, like, especially for, like, there's so many bands around as well. Like, you want to try and do something. A bit different, something different yeah, yeah. And, and I think as well being instrumental is kind of it brings pressures of its own because, yeah. and I'm not saying this in any way that, that it's necessarily easier to write if you have a vocalist yeah. but you can sort of get away with doing things that wouldn't people just wouldn't be interested in instrumentally yeah. that you know trying to make it sound like it's not missing anything yeah um, and also trying to kind of keep it varied from song to song as well you know that's that's something I'm always kind of keen yeah. on is I don't want it has to tie together, but I want everything to kind of be very distinct. And yeah. Try and say something different with each song, and I think that's probably what's making it take time. Is yeah. I'm being very fussy. Yeah. But I get it right. Like, but I hope it pays off. You know, yeah. I, I kind of want people to have the same reaction they had the first time they heard, like at Dream's Edge. Yeah. Um, which is a, it's a bit of a challenge, but yeah. Yeah, because it's like you got obviously bands like yourself, and then you got like bands like Animals as leaders as well. Yeah. There is yeah. quite a few like there is more and more instrumentals coming into it, and I think it is good. Like obviously with bands that have vocalists like the vocalists they tend to do the speaking but like with the music does the speaking it's absolutely. more powerful like. absolutely yeah. and it's the, you know, the other weird thing I was talking about uh, someone about this last night is that as an instrumental act people kind of tend to get this idea of you that it's like it's a, it's a guitar fronted thing yeah but I don't see myself as a kind of like you know 
was say virtuoso thing yeah. I'm very very far from it like like you said people like Tosin yeah um, Jacob from Disperse yeah I mean that I just I'm not even anywhere near that so it's a weird one that you know it's guitar fronted music but I don't want it to be all about the lead work yeah. mainly because I couldn't <laughs> you know if I wanted it to be so it's trying to find that balance between, you know just between structure and arrangement yeah but also stuff that stands out and is a little bit you know flashy or whatever yeah it's, more unique it's really hard <laughs> yeah would you would you ever consider bringing a vocalist like even if it's just for one track or? Um, I would I'd probably save it for like just a, a different project altogether yeah. maybe it would be you know I mean I know a lot of good vocalists yeah um, so it would, it would be cool to get them on you know even if it's just like a studio project or something yeah. like that um, but yeah no, I think I think Chimp is always going to be like a sort of more soundtracky type thing yeah yeah like sounds of the future <laughs> yeah we saying that we did have a spoken word intro to the to Bad Code on Thursday which was interesting yeah um, I don't know if you if you managed to catch it yeah I caught the set yeah yeah it was uh, it was GLaDOS waking up at the beginning of yeah. Portal 2 oh yeah, yeah which was I actually quite like that man because it really it kind of set like a bit of a, a scene yeah. you know it, it had a bit of a narrative to it so that's maybe some, that would be something cool to try yeah because I did recognise that I was, I've been trying to pinpoint where it was from all weekend so. yeah 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 so I don't know maybe that would be be a cool idea is to just introduce like verbal elements to like track intros or something yeah, yeah. or use it to kind of describe things I don't know that, that yeah, that'd be, be cool. that'd be kind of cool yeah um, yeah get Patrick Stewart on there that'd be awesome oh, yeah. his voice is brilliant like yeah just I reckon he'd be down but he seems like that kind of guy yeah he's know. like do you follow him on Twitter at all I do his, yeah. his profile picture is just the best like yeah. his head in a pool pit and it's yeah. just like Oh yeah, Patrick Stewart just... You know what, I'm going to do it. I'm yeah. going to approach him and be like, look, I've got this new album coming out. <laughs> it'd have made my life. Yeah. You know, so. like, like, next, like, if you play here next year, get introduced to the stage. Yeah. <laughs> like, that would be fantastic. Like, Yeah, just be rocking out with everyone. And yeah. And, stuff. and if you get him to come out, like, he needs, like, Star Trek, like, yeah. <laughs> he might draw the line at that. Yeah, he I might, mean. yeah. I bet he must get that a lot. Yeah, the man's got pride. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, we went for Patrick Stewart. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you think of the lineup this weekend? Like, yeah, it's been really good. Uh, you know, like we're saying, it's just it's been quite sort of diverse. You know, yeah. we've had a few really heavy bands. Uh, you've got bands today like The Ocean that are sort of doing yeah. more like slower wall of sound type stuff. So yeah, it's not it's not all kind of just zeros and yeah. chugs and stuff. You right. Hello, it's Rob from our tune track. Excellent right. man. We've met before, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's cool, man. Um, are you going to be around sort of? Yeah, sure. Oh, you're sorry. Yeah, no, it's there. okay, man. It's cool. I'm very it's sorry, fine, man. It's cool. It's no way, dude. We'll, I'll, I'll come and catch you probably after a Elias set, if that's yeah. cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, if you could, um, like, arrange your own festival, who would you get to play? Oh, man. Um, I'd, well, I'd obviously want to get sort of guys in that, that you know, I know. I mean, no consequence. Yeah, yeah. I like, I love watching those guys play, man. Um, to be honest, it probably wouldn't be a million miles away from from what this is. Yeah. You know, um, if I say Meshuggah, it's just incredibly predictable. But yeah, because that's, that's why everyone's made me say like. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, so this is pretty pretty close to what I would say. Yeah, like, what I would like. like headliner-wise as well, it's been solid all weekend. Like, even on the card, it's just all like, really good bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. And um, we've got a plan for the rest of the day? Uh, for the rest of the day, I have to go and sort of do a semi-tech job for uh, a liar. Yeah. Um, as I was saying earlier, they had yeah, a bit yeah. of a gear mishap, so I'm going to stand by the side of the stage and make sure that my pod that I'm loaning them doesn't do anything that it shouldn't do. Yeah. Uh, and otherwise, really just kind of waiting for safe. Yeah. As, as I think everyone is. Yeah, everyone's know. just... Uh, at some point, I'm going to try and sneak some World Cup in there as well, because yeah. 8 o'clock kickoff. I know. If, the, if, if someone can actually outright win it, then I could get to watch the World Cup and see sick. Yeah, that would just be a win yeah. situation. Yeah, it would. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, thanks for your time. And, um, yeah, no worries. Go for the rest of the year, right, and stuff. Excellent. Thank you very much. Cheers.